buying properties through online auctions. What's going on YouTube? It's Mentorship Monday. Thank you guys for watching Mentorship Monday. My company is called the DeRosa Group, and we offer this Mentorship Monday series just to teach people the ins and outs of real estate investing. And we've been investing full time for about 14 years. We've learned a lot of stuff, so we want to share what we've learned with the uh, with the world. And you can learn more about us at DeRosaGroup.com. D-E-R-O-S-A-G-R-O-U-P.com. DeRosaGroup.com. Mentorship Monday works like this: people email their questions to help me at DeRosaGroup.com. That is help me at DeRosaGroup.com, and I'll answer your questions right here on the YouTube page for you and everybody else to learn from. Today's questions comes from David. Thank you, David, for your question to Mentorship Monday. David's question is about buying properties at the online auctions. Specifically, um, it just he wants to know how it works and also about how title transfer works. It's a big question, meaning like how does ownership transfer to you? Do you get clean title? Um, David wants to know even um, a, a deeper question, which is a really good one, is do the prior owners of the property that lost it through foreclosure, do they have the right to come back and do something called redeem the property? Meaning can they come back and say, hey, listen, you know, I'm going to pay the debt that I owed my bank and I'm going to pay all that up and pay all my back debts and I want to get my house back. Um, So that's a good question. So here we go, David. Uh, the, The redemption thing that you're talking about does play, but it plays in sheriff sales and tax sales. Okay. That is a, the sheriff sale and a tax sale are pretty much, they're two different things, but briefly those are sales put, sales put on by the local, uh, clerk's office by your county clerk. Um, so a sheriff sales where a bank literally takes ownership of the property where the bank forecloses on the property and the bank takes ownership, um, of the property on their own. That is a, uh, that is a sheriff sale. Um, and so it's where title take, it's where transfer takes place from the prior owner, uh, over to the bank. There is plenty of redemption in that, uh, in that world. There's a lot of rules around it. Um, once the bank takes ownership, the prior owner can come back and redeem. And a tax sale is pretty much where somebody uh, hasn't paid their real estate taxes over time. And um, the taxes can get bought by an investor, can, owe, can own those taxes, and the tax debt becomes owed to them, including some interest. Um, and eventually that tax lien holder can then go and foreclose on the property through a tax lien foreclosure sale. Uh, whole nother world, you guys want to talk about tax lien foreclosures and uh, share of sale foreclosures, send a question to help me at derosagroup.com and we'll get there. I want to get back to David's question, which is about online auctions. Um, the online auctions through Zoom and foreclosure.com um, and, and a few other ones that are out there are typically like capital T, typically, not all the time, but are typically for bank-owned properties, meaning the bank's already taken ownership of the property. Now the bank wants to unload it. They don't want to deal with it. They don't want to send anybody out there to fix it up. The banks don't want to um, don't want to deal with, with the certificate of occupancy stuff, if that's, if that's common in your area. They just want to unload the property, get as much money as they can for the property so they can go back and do what they do, which is writing loans for real estate instead of owning real estate. So the bank wants to unload the property as fast as they can. They may list it with a local real estate agent or they may just put it on those online auction sites. So 99.99999% of the time, when you see a property on Zome um, or foreclosure.com or whatever, those are bank-owned properties that are being sold uh, through those portals. They may be privately owned stuff um, that's being sold because people want to sell quickly, but it is it is never going to be a share of sale that you can bid on online. You will see share of sales listed on Zome and foreclosure.com. They list those, for, they list share of sales, but you can't bid on them on those portals. They'll tell you, oh, well, you know, the auction date is this day, but you got to go to the county clerk house to, to bid on it. I believe they do that just to build their inventory of what they have listed on their site. So you might see uh, stuff that's going to get sold, you know, air quote, at the on the courthouse steps, um, not through the online portal. You might see that stuff listed on those sites, um, but you're not going to be actually able to bid on them on the site. The stuff you can bid on on the site is likely a bank-owned property. If it is a bank-owned property, the bank already has clean title, meaning like the, the prior owner is not going to show up on your doorstep and say, hey, you bought my house and I want it back from you. The, bank's already, the bank already is the intermediary, so the bank's going to be able to deliver you clean title um, on the property. Another recommendation, 
recommendation I have, guys, is whenever you're buying properties on those sites and stuff like that, get your own title search done. They will offer to have title work, to do the title work for you at a discount and everything like that. I don't think it's worth the discount that they offer um, to just not use a third-party title company because the title company you, you buy will issue you a clean title policy without a bunch of exceptions in it and um, without a bunch of holes in the title policy and stuff like that. So make sure that you use your own title company or at least pull your pull down your own title search um, to make sure the title is clean before you close. Um, I get Zome and Foreclosure.com are big-time uh, companies in that, so they should be able to defend a real estate ownership claim like that. But uh, you never know. You want to make sure that you got clean insurance, at least. That's what title insurance is. Um, yet again, title insurance is another thing we could talk about on Mentorship Monday. Uh, so send, me, send an email to help me out if you guys want to talk about that one too. Um, cool. David, you're awesome. Great question. Um, bottom line, guys, is for those auctions are a great place to buy great deals. If you're looking to get started, uh, just make sure that um, that you do your proper due diligence because you might not be able to get inside these houses when you buy on these online portals. Um, so, uh, so that's the bottom line line on that one. Um, but David's question specifically was about ownership uh, and, and uh, taking ownership on those auction sites and stuff. So David, thank you for your question. Send your email questions to help me at derosagroup.com guys, and we'll take care of them right here on the YouTube channel. And don't, as always, uh, for, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can hear more about what we're up to. That's what I got for you today, guys. Have a great profitable week.